Okay, so this is where we are going to learn how to do some of the green screen effects that you've seen in the uh, home stage set. Um, I'm assuming at this point that you have transferred your footage off of your PS3 using some sort of capture device. Uh, if you go into YouTube, there's a lot of people that talk about the different things of doing that. So I'm not going to cover that part. But let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at how we actually do pull a green screen mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to take the uh, uh, the sequence that I want to use, and we're going to use this little sequence here, um, character in front of the green screen. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on uh, track two of my video in Final Cut. There it is. And now I'm going to take a background plate. Um, in this case, I'm going to use some shots of my tortoise in my backyard. And right now, as you see, the two layers uh, there's no uh, uh, compositing. We just have the green screen. So now let's go ahead and go ahead and, and chroma key that, that that green screen footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this, put it into my uh, viewer, and now I'm gonna go to my filters. I'm gonna go to effects, video filter, and we will go to key, chroma key. -er. And now let's take a look at the chroma key -er and start playing with it to get an image. Um, first of all, we need to sort of get the color. I'm going to sort of spread this apart a little bit. And now try and match up. And there you go. Now we have a chroma key. Um, I've pulled the main green. As you can see, we had some uh, text dialogue up um, here around this part that didn't quite go through. So I'm going to go and play with the, the saturation and the luminance levels to try and see if I can key that out as well, since I don't particularly care for it. And there you go. Um, came across pretty cleanly. So now if we go back under our timeline, you can see the character is interacting with the tortoise. Um, if I want to get a little bit fancier, I'll go ahead and select that, um, and I'm going to reposition it a little bit. So I'll click on, first I go on the Motion tab, I'll click on Center, and now I'm going to sort of drag her down a little bit to make it look like the tortoise is coming into frame. Yes, he looks truly terrified. Well, that should get you started with doing some compositing. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing your videos. I'm sure they'll be very creative.